Hi, it's Penny here and today I wanted to do the How Well Do You Know Your Books Challenge created recently by Jesse the Reader. I will leave the link to his original video down below if you want to check that out. But basically the way that it works is I've got a few coordinates for my bookshelves from Twitter and otherwise I'm just going to get Siri to give me some random coordinates. So we pick random books off my bookshelves and then we answer a specific question about those books. It'll make more sense as you get into it. So I have picked the first 12 sections of my bookshelf. It's a bit hard to see. I do have a plan to reorganize my bookshelf soon but we're not there yet and I was too impatient to wait so I'm going to do it with these messy bookshelves. I picked off the first 12 which are the books that I have read. I'm not going to worry about the books that I haven't read for now. Maybe maybe that'll be a fun challenge to play this again later. But for now I've got 12 sections of my bookshelves and each one has about 10 books in it. So I'm going to pick one random number between 12 and one between 10 and that'll pick a book off the shelf for us. That probably doesn't make sense but again It'll make sense once we get into it. So the first question is, without looking at the description, tell us what the book is about. And the first coordinates I have are 10 and 2. So we'll go to the 10th shelf and the second book. Oh, everything's going to fall off my shelves. Um, the second book is This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. Uh, so what is this book about? This is about a guy called August who is a monster and a girl called Kate who is not a monster but her father is and she wants to be like him. More to the point, any violence in this world creates a monster. Uh, that's how August was created and there's all these other different kinds of monsters depending on the kind of violence. I do really like this book and its sequel so I do recommend it. Of course I love Vera Schwab, she's one of my favorite authors so that one was easy, we got it. So the second question is without looking it up what is the genre of this book and the coordinates we have are five and seven. <laughs> So we've got Long Hot Summoning by Tanya Huff. This is the third book in the Keeper's Chronicles. This is a fantasy. I guess it's urban fantasy because in this one they're at a mall fighting elves and kind of there's this ethereal legend going on. This is a weird fantasy but it's definitely urban fantasy with a little bit of comedy thrown in. So the next question is without looking at the book tell us what's on the cover and the coordinates I have are 8 and 4. It's not really fair because the um I'm trying not to look at it because I just it's, it's too hard because the cover of these books is like on the spines of these books. So as soon as I looked at the spine to know what the book is, I saw the cover. Um, I forget, it's like the bind, I'm trying not to look, it's the, I've seen it already. <laughs> it's this. So it's the bind up of the third and fourth books of the Tiger and Dell series. You can see like on the spine, it's, it's on the spine, it's a picture of Tiger and Dell. Of course it's a picture in Tiger and Dell. I could have answered that without seeing this, but it's got spoilers on the spine. <laughs> oh, love it, but I honestly don't know. Did I get that? I could have got it even without this. I think I got it. So the next question is without looking it up, what is the main character's name? And my coordinates are 3 and 10. <laughs> no, this shelf does not have 10 books. I'm just going to go on to the next shelf. I think Jessie was looping, but I'm not going to do that. So I got Half Bad by Sally Green. The main character's name is Nathan. He is a half white, half black witch. Has some really hard times. The third book made me cry so much, but I know this one. I'll look it up to double check, but like, oh, this book doesn't even tell you anything anywhere. His name is Nathan. I know his name is Nathan. Nathan. Ah, confirmed. Nathan. Next question is without looking name a side character and the coordinates are 10 and 10. <laughs> Thanks so I've gotten The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stevada. What am I saying? The side characters. I mean I guess we're not talking about Gansey, Ronan, Adam, Blue, Noah are the kind of the main characters. Um, you've also got Maura, the mother, 
Um, we got Persephone and what's the other main lady's name? Well, I can't remember that specific one, but there's also Mr. Grey and Declan and Matthew. I know so many uh, side characters. I guess um, whenever I try to think of a specific one, I can't, but... I know a lot of the side characters. I really love this series. It's so magical. Like, I know there's a lot of hype around this series, but I do recommend it. Even if you just want to know what everyone else is talking about. And I am excited about Call Down the Hawk coming out soon, which is like the next series following on from this series. So the next question is to guess how many pages the book has without looking. Uh, and the coordinates I got are 11 and 1. <laughs> I got the Raven Boys this time. <sighs> How many pages is it? Like 400 ish? I think they're about 400 ish, aren't they? Like they're not th the typical 300, maybe slightly less. I'm just going to go with 400. Oh, yeah. 421, which Jesse says as long as you're within 25, you get it. So I got it. So the next question is without looking it up, what rating did you give this book? And I got in the coordinates 9 and 8. <laughs> oh, Snapshot by Brandon Sanderson. This is a short story about kind of these like memories that people can go into and relive the day and we're following these detectives using that to solve crime. Brandon Sanderson writes great books. But I think I gave it four stars, not a five star, but a four star. Let's see if that's accurate. I gave it four stars. I do know my rating system. The next question is without looking where does this book take place? And the coordinates I got are one and one, and I know what that book is without even looking. I got Magic Bites by Kate Daniels. This, this is so little compared to some of the later books in the series. So this book is set in a dystopian Atlanta where magic is starting to come back and it comes back in waves. So sometimes technology works and sometimes magic works. It's set in Atlanta. I honestly don't even need to check that because I just know that. Atlanta. Oh, I actually knew. But this is my favorite series, so it's not really a surprise that I know that one. I honestly question the random numbers series giving me because they seem to be not very random. Anyway, the next question is without looking, what are the parents' names? And I feel like this is going to be less relevant if you don't read a lot of young adult. I think my shelves are maybe half and half. We'll see what I get. Um, the coordinates I got are one and eight. Oh, I know what that's gonna be too, because that's my Kate Daniels show. <laughs> so magic breaks. Um, I know that Kate Daniels dad is Roland. He's a big part of the book because he's like this all-powerful evil guy. But the mother's name, she is dead. Uh, from before this happens. And I don't remember her name. No, it's not coming to me. Um, so I guess I'll fail. Let's look it up. Kate Daniel's mother. Oh, Kalina. I did have a feeling it started with Kate, but I thought I was confusing myself just because Kate also starts with K. Did I just say starts with Kate? <sighs> Anyway, like half points for that? I think so. so. The next question is, without looking at the hardback, what cover is the book underneath the dust jacket? Now, I don't actually have a lot of hard covers. So what I'm going to do is go to the coordinates and then just take whatever the next hard cover is, I guess. So the coordinates I've got are 12 and 9. <laughs> and oh my goodness, it's a hard cover, but it's a book that I just picked up from the library. I'm trying not to look at it so I don't cheat. I'm pretty sure that underneath it, underneath this cover, it'll be white. It'll be white, right? It's a white book. It's also hard to look at because it's a library book so you can't take the dust jacket off. It's like stuck on there. But I can tell you, if you look in there, it is white. So we got that, even though it's not technically my book. Oh, I keep dropping things. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by I keep dropping things. How about a web search for it? 
Oh, that a web search for it. No, that's okay. So the next question is, without looking, is there anything on the hardback, like an imprint or anything? So again, I'm going to do the same thing with my coordinates and hardcovers. Even though I got very lucky last time. Uh, the coordinates I've got are 3 and 8. And the next hardcover from that is like... Who has hardcovers? Oh, it's this one again. But like, this doesn't have a dust jacket, so it doesn't count. Um, you know what? The next one would be this vicious hardcover. Beautiful, has a ribbon. I'm pretty sure, and I might be getting mixed up because for some reason I really loved the UK edition. This is the UK edition? It's round one way. I got the UK edition of Vicious and the other one, the US version of um, Vengeful, or it's the other way around, one of those. And I'm pretty sure that this one has underneath it, like, it's black and it's got like a gold picture of, um, I assume it's Victor on the front of it. Let's have a look. Honestly, this book is so beautiful. I just love it so much. And there he is. <sighs> this book's so beautiful. I'm so glad I got this book. Just, it's lovely. I don't really like hardcovers, like reading them. I don't find it anywhere near as comfortable. But gosh, isn't it pretty? So the next question is, without taking the dust jacket off, what color is the font? We'll do the same thing, but if I get one that I've already got, then I'll skip on to the next one. Eventually, we're going to run out of hardcovers. Let's hope we run out of questions first. Coordinates I've got are 11 and 6. <laughs> I swear, I don't have hardly any freaking hardcovers. There's only like two here. Well... We're just going to have to go with Vicious, with Vengeful by V. Schwab. Schwab. If there are any more hardcover books, we're screwed because we have no more hardcovers on my shelves. I'm pretty sure that the font, I don't remember because I think that that Vicious one was my more favorite one and this one I haven't really like enjoyed the cover. Is it white? Or is it gold? Does it even have the font? I feel like it doesn't even have the font on it. Like I don't think it says Vicious on it. I think it's just got... But is that the UK? Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna go with... You know what? I don't think it fucking says any words. I'm just gonna go with that and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Ah, uh, it doesn't have anything here but on the back it has vengeful in red and now that I see it I know that I know that but this this edition like just not like I like the front image better than the um other edition I'll try and put a picture up but I, I love this front much better but the actual inside book nowhere near as beautiful <sighs> compromises life is hard so the next question is, without looking, do the chapters have titles or are they just numbered? And my coordinates are 8 and 7. <laughs> Name of the Wind. Don't you feel like it would have, it's been a long time since I read Name of the Wind, but don't you feel like it would have some kind of like pretty leafy chapter headings? I mean, it's a very lyrical book. Oh, chapter titles. You know the chapters? Oh, or do they? I feel like this is like really lyrical and it's like storytelling so I feel like they would have titles but I don't remember any of the titles. If they're titles they're not very good titles. That's what we're gonna go with. Um, so I'm gonna say no the chapters don't have titles. They do have titles. This one's called Sympathy in the Main. But you know I should have known that. I really should have known that. Of course Patrick Rothfuss would create chapter titles. Of course he would. Like, that's the kind of man he is. So the next question is, without looking, does the book have an award on it? And the coordinates I got are 12 and 9. <laughs> I already got this book before. It doesn't have an award on it. I know that even though it's a library book. I am correct. The next question is, without looking at, does this have any 
author blurbs on the front. In the coordinates I've got are eight and three. Honestly, that first number is so not random. But anyway, <laughs> I think that this doesn't have author blurbs on the front because this is from a time when author blurbs weren't really a thing. And also, is that even true? I don't know. Also, it's like a bind up of two books. I don't think it does. It does not. I am correct. This is the Tiger and Dell series again. You should read it. It's a very old series, but it, it is very good. So the next question is, without looking, does this book have the description on the back? And the coordinates I got are 5 and 10. I feel like I just complained about all the numbers at the front not being random, and so it's trying to pretend to be random. <laughs> Don't look. Um, so this is Infidel by Cameron Hurley. It's the second book, I believe, in the Beldame Apocrypha series. It's a really great series with Nyx and all this awful bug technology, really dark and violent. Does it have a description on the back? I'm going to say yes. Yes, it does. The next question is, without looking, does this book have an try that again. Without looking, does this book have an author photo? And the coordinates I've got are 8 and 1. <laughs> does not have an author photo because I, for a long time, had I don't even now know what Melanie Ruin looks like. This is The Mage Bond Trader. It's the second book in the Exiles series, of which the third book has Oh, not being written. Uh, Melanie Ron has some problems and hence the book has been on hold for 20 years. It's fine. You know when we get mad at Patrick Rothfuss for making us wait 10 years? Uh, there's still people waiting for Capital's Tower to wrap up this amazing fantasy trilogy. But is there an author image? I don't think so. It better not be. Either be in the back or in the front. Nope. I'm right. So the next question is, without looking it up, is this author using a pen name? And the coordinates I've got are 6 and 10. So I've got The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. I'm pretty sure that that's not a pen name. Um, I think sometimes she doesn't include the K in her name, but it must still just be part of her name, right? Let's look it up. So as far as I can tell, K is like standing in for her like maiden name. So Ursula K. Leguin, but it says Ursula Kroeber Leguin, so I'm pretty sure it's her name. It's not a pen name. Close enough. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. So the next question is, without peeking, what point of view is this book written in? And the coordinates I have are 6 and 2. So this is The Whale Rider by Witchy Himaira. Witchy Himaira. Um, it's like a New Zealand classic story. I'm pretty sure that it's written in third person because it talks about how she's struggling with her relationship with her grandfather and I'm pretty sure that it isn't from her perspective. Oh no, I got a contract to share. Really? Oh, it's... I think I, it's written from, like, the perspective of, like, her father or something. Or, like... Is it written from the perspective of the whale? No. No, it's not. But who is it written from the perspective of? It's not written from the perspective of the main girl. Honestly, I don't know whose perspective it's written from, but it's first person but it's still a story kind of told in third person because the person telling the story isn't the subject of the story they're like a person in the story but they're not the main character i give up on knowing whether i got that one right so the next question is without looking are there any pictures in this book and the coordinates i got are two and three <laughs> This is Harbinger by Philippa Ballantyne. Philippa Ballantyne is a New Zealand author who lives in the States. I love this series. It's this fantasy series. Oh, just so cool. Um, I am pretty sure there are no pictures in this book. Nothing at the front. 
it is. No pictures, I'm correct. So the next question is, without looking, does it have an epilogue in the coordinates I got are 11 and 10? 9, 10. Oh, ah! Everything is, I have the messiest bookshelves. I guess this is just hurrying up my like reorganization. <laughs> Um, so I got The Legend of Nightfall by Mickey Zakaraka. This is a fantasy about this guy who has the power to change his weight. And it's really cool how she uses that. Doesn't have an epilogue. Fantasies often have epilogues. There is a sequel to this, but I'm pretty sure that when this was written, there was not a plan to write a sequel. I think... It's been a long time since I read this book, but I think it has an epilogue. I mean, it's got a song in the back. It's got an epilogue. I win. So the next question is, without looking, does this book have a prologue? And the coordinates I got are 1 and 3, which means it is another Kate Daniels book. Uh, this one is Magic Strikes. Is that actually the third book, or have I got this out of order too? Who knows? Um, does this have a prologue? I don't believe that Kate Daniels books normally have prologues because Alona Andrews just likes to jump straight into the action and get going. So I would say no prologue. Chapter one, straight into it. So the next question is, without looking, is this book signed? I'm pretty sure there's like three books or something signed on my shelves. So I think it's very unlikely. But the coordinates are six and two. <laughs> Did I already have six and two? I did already have six and two. We just looked at that. I'm going to go for the very next book because we already had it and that's just rubbish. <laughs> Honestly, don't believe this is random, although I know randomness totally allows for the numbers to come up multiple times, especially with this many. But anyway, I've got Needful Things by Stephen King. I got this like in an inorganic collection where people put their rubbish out on the side of the road and there was a bunch of Stephen King books put out on the side of the road and I picked them up, hence why it's like all fat and kind of water damaged. So I'm pretty sure it's not signed because why would you put a signed book out on the side of the road? Double check. Wouldn't it be funny if it was? Uh, but no, I have read this book. I do really like it. So the next question is, without looking, do the page numbers have a design above or below them? Or none at all? And the coordinates I've got are 11 and 4. <laughs> I've almost picked out the whole series. Do I get a prize if I pick out a whole series? Uh, so this is The Raven King by Maggie Stevada, the last book in the series. I mean, these books are beautiful, so you kind of expect them to have some kind of fanciness? But do they? Oh, page numbers. No, nothing. Nothing. They're just page numbers. They're just page numbers. You probably can't even see them because they are tiny page numbers. So the next question is, without looking, do the chapter headers have designs on them? And I got one and eight, which I've had before, so I'm going to go for one and nine, which it's just another Kate Daniels book. So they're all exactly the same, so it doesn't really make a difference. Do the chapter headers have designs on them? I think they just kind of like honestly I just looked at one before it just like says in the middle chapter chapter whatever you know oh 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 and these ones have a bit of a design oh I think that counts as a design so so I failed that one and my camera battery died at exactly the same moment so I don't know what footage I lost but that was like a mega fail I guess but if I didn't manage to capture it, the answer is that they do have a pretty little design. I mean, it's very, like, very minimal kind of design, but it is a design. I wonder if the other books are different. Let's pick a different one just to check. I mean, they still have a little bit of, they still have a little bit of design. Blah, whatever. Who even knows my favorite series? So the next question is, without looking, are the acknowledgements at the front or the back of the book? And the coordinates I've got are 10 and 5. Crap. Well, I need to get rid of this book, actually. Can I just get rid of it and then um, skip over it? 
no. So this is the Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The reason why I say get rid of it is not because I don't like this, but I bought myself new fancy collector's editions, so I don't really need this paperback version anymore. Are the acknowledgements in the front or the back? I haven't even read this edition, so not that I would really even know if I had read it, but I'm using that as an excuse. I'm going to go with the in the back. There's a lot of ads in the back. Isn't about the author and the acknowledgements in the back. I did it. So the next question is without looking, what year was this book published? And the coordinates I have are seven and seven. And I think this is the first time I've actually looked at shelf number seven. Oh, crappity. Crap, crap, crap. So this is Scavenger Hunt by Stephen. Stephen. I was going to say Stephen King because Christopher Pike to me was always kind of baby Stephen King, like wannabe Stephen King, like Stephen King for teens. This book, when was it published? I feel like it was I like sometime during my teens, but it's possible this one came out just after my teens. I'm going to go with a random pack of 1998. Oh, 1989. I guess I got that wrong. Like, I'm just off by a decade. It's fine. So the last question is, without looking, what year did you read this book? I feel like this would be easier for me than the date published question. And the coordinates I have are 8 and 6. I say easier, but really, is it? So this is Swordbound, the very last book in the Tiger and Dell series. This book was put out like well after the rest of the books in the series had been released. And Tiger and Dell are like quite old by the time we get to this point. That's got nothing to do with me answering the question. I read this in the last couple of years. The question is, like I read it. Did I read it as part of my push to finish all my series or catch up on my series, which was last year I did that big push? Did I read it last year? Or had I already dealt with this one before we got there? I might hate myself for this, but I'm going to go with 2017. Let's look it up. November 2017. Another one right. So I didn't count during that. I'm going to make editing me count and see how many I got right. But I think overall I did pretty well. And it was also quite a lot of fun to do. So if you have a booktube channel, play this game. It's fun. I also think it would be interesting to do this uh, periodically and see whether my abilities to answer these questions improves or deteriorates. So how well do you think you would do at answering these questions about the books on your shelf? Let me know. Otherwise that's all I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time.